Greetings from Pennsylvania once again. And we're still here in the Delaware Water Gap. Of course, we just took a look at, we just took a look at Raymond's Kill Falls, which is supposed to be the tallest waterfall in Pennsylvania. And if you could tell in that video, I was slightly disappointed. It was still a beautiful waterfall, but I was expecting to see a little bit more, I think. But I th like I said, they had some of the trails closed off and everything for different reasons. Still, still a neat place to visit, but it didn't take that long. It was not a very long hike either. But on the other side of the road from the parking area, there's a whole nother set of trails, which I wasn't necessarily planning on hiking today, but I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna hike out to what's called Hackers Falls. And there's an overlook out here called the Tri-State Overlook, which I'm gonna try and check out as well. If I go the right way. So I think we're gonna go to the overlook first and then get to the uh, waterfall. A little bit more hiking. But that is the plan. All right, let's get going. So I'm currently on what's called the Cliff Trail. That's not named after me, but uh, this is a rather long trail if you take the whole section of it. Like I said, we're just taking it to the one overlook and then we're gonna hook a left towards Hackers Falls. At least that's the plan. We got some squirrels up here. I'll try to zoom in on them, maybe. Oh, no, he's gone. All right, sorry about that. And it is a uh, it is a Saturday, November fourteenth, I believe. I thought there'd be more. I thought there'd be more people out here, but I think we're past peak season here. It's still beautiful out here. Yeah, and up, up, up we go. Puffing and puffing. But I guess if you're gonna have a view, you gotta go uphill. But uphill means that on the way back, you get to go downhill. Right, so we have made it to the top. You can kind of see some mountains over there. That's New Jersey over there. Not sure if this is the official lookout over here or not. I don't really have a sign here. Well, there's a little, maybe this is. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Not so colorful anymore. This is you know late November. So peak season is way past gone for fall color. There's the Delaware River down there. Of course an opposite the Delaware the Delaware River is the state of New Jersey. Of course, up there somewhere there's New York State. Right, well, let's keep going. I'm not sure if that was the tri-state view or not. Usually they're labeled at the location, but that could be it. We're gonna continue on the cliff trail, look for their viewpoint, and then also be looking for a trail that goes to the left towards Hackers Falls. It is a beautiful late November day though. It should be up in maybe about 60 degrees today. Upper 50s. Not too cold, not too warm. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the intersection I'm looking for. The cliff trail continues on up that way. And I'm pretty sure this takes me to the Hackers Falls Trail. Because the Hackers Falls Trail is a yellow blaze trail. This trail is like, like half yellow, half white. So I think it's like a connector trail. If I just check the map again. And that view we were at, I'm pretty sure, is the Tri-State Overlook, or Tri-State View. So this will take us to the Hackers Falls Trail, and then we'll hook a right to get to the waterfall. If I'm correct. I 
And if you ever do come to the Delaware Water Gap, there is so many places to hike and explore here. I wish I lived closer to this location. It was about a two-hour drive to get to uh, where I parked, right by Raymond Skill Falls. Like I said, I wish I was closer. Just, just driving the roads around here, there's so many pull-offs and trails and neat things to explore. But, well, well it is what it is. I'll try and come up here, try and come up here more often, I think. So I believe we have arrived at the Hacker's Fall Trail, the Yellow Blaze Trail. Because that'll take us down, back down to where we parked. So we will go this way to the falls, I believe. Or I hope so. <laughs> but it's a pretty big trail. So that means it gets travel traveled a lot. So I'm pretty sure we're heading in the right direction. So I'm not sure how big this fall is. I'm hoping it's a, something worthwhile seeing. Getting kind of hungry too. Maybe take a little break there. I mean, any waterfall is worth seeing. Yeah, now we're heading downwards into this beautiful little hemlock forest. And if you spend a lot of time in the woods, you might recognize like the sound, like the wind blowing through the pines or the hemlocks is, it has that winter sound to it. Because all the, uh, sounds different in the winter than it does in the summer because all the, you know, the, when the deciduous trees are leafed out, you know, the wind sounds different when it blows through the forest. But now that all those leaves are laying on the ground now, and it's just the pine trees. It just has a different uh, sound to it when you're walking through the woods, in the piney woods. Sounds like winter. All right, so I'm thinking it's, I hope we're getting close to the waterfall. Still on that yellow blaze trail. But this is beautiful down here. I always love walking through the pine forests. So I came a little ways off trail because I thought I heard a waterfall. And I think I do hear the sound of water up there. Looks like there's water down there. Almost looks like a beaver pond or something maybe unless my ears are deceiving me I think the waterfall is close by but let's get back on trail so walking through this beautiful hemlock forest yeah so I was walking along I thought we had come to the waterfall because I can hear water down there but I think it's just a set of rapids down there in the stream. There's a trail there, but I don't see any. No, I think it's just rapids, so we're going to keep on going for the waterfall. So that's probably what I heard earlier, not the waterfall, but those rapids. But I'm hearing more water up ahead as well. You know, I think I see it up through the trees there. I'm not sure if it's yeah, it's just up ahead. I see it. It looks, it looks pretty impressive. All right, 
We're almost there. Yeah, I can definitely hear it now. Yeah, you can definitely see it up there through the trees now. Definitely a beautiful spot back there. Worth the hike. Beautiful place to sit, have some lunch, or a late breakfast. So one last look. Time to, time to head back to the parking lot. And you can probably tell which one I like best. Either this one, Hacker's Falls, or the previous video, Raymond's Kill Falls. We'll talk about that in a moment. They both had their charm. I definitely did enjoy one more than the other. So both waterfalls are accessible from the same parking lot, just on other opposite sides of the road. Of course, Raymond's Kill is obviously the easier one to get to, and it's a taller one. But this one just felt a whole lot more, uh, you could get a lot closer to this one. You could sit down there and like eat lunch or just relax. Raymond's Kill, there was some viewing platforms but no place really to like to sit and enjoy yourself. So I kind of, I, even though this one was smaller, I enjoyed it more, I guess for my own reasons, but you might feel different. But even if you just come to visit Hacker's Falls, you should still go visit Raymond's Kill because like I said, it's only a, the whole little loop trail is only a quarter of a mile. It is definitely worth seeing if you're going to park there since you can get to both from that parking spot. But if you're looking for something a little bit more remote, a place where you can just sit for a little while, have the place to yourself for a bit, that might be the one to come to. But they're both beautiful places. And I do plan on visiting some more waterfalls up in this area. I, I'm like I'm hoping to get to Dingman's Falls next, but I drove past the road. It looked like the road was closed. So we'll see. I don't know if I want to hike all the way up from well we'll see what happens. I saw some I saw quite a few vehicles parked there. But anyway, that's not we don't have to worry about that in this video. Alright, eh, unless we see something else interesting along the way, I will see you back near the end of this trail. All right, so I'm just about at the parking lot. I can see the road down there. So anyway, thanks for coming along on this little adventure too. Like I said, both waterfalls are worth seeing if you come to this particular spot, this parking area. You can see Raymond's Kill and Hacker's Falls. All right, so I have more places planned to visit here today in the Delaware Water Gap. Like I said, we're gonna try to get to Dingman's Falls. I'm not sure if we'll be able to. 
If not, we'll head somewhere else. I got a list of places, potential places to visit today. So thanks for coming along on this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.